Crying is our nature-given uh, way to release our sorrow. And unfortunately, in our culture, uh, we've been led to believe that if you cry, you're weak, and that crying isn't important. And it's over 30 years now since it's been proven uh, by research that you actually excrete um, uh, stress hormones in your tears. So there's a real reason to cry because then those stress hormones aren't messing your body up. Uh, it, it's also been proven that uh, you can lower your blood pressure, you can lower your pulse and your body temperature by having a really good cry. Uh, it's so sometimes though people can't cry. They can feel the need to cry, but, but they can't get to it. And that's probably because of something that happened when they were very young. A lot of people, little people, were not allowed to cry as much as they needed to cry, mostly because their parents weren't either when they were children, so they can't stand it when their kids cry. But really what we need to do and what we need to let children do is cry until they're finished crying on their own, and then they don't carry all that unresolved grief into their uh, adulthood. It's um, also, if you can cry, you are much more less likely to become depressed because a lot of people, they sit with that sorrow in them, but it's held and they need to cry to release it. So getting to the point where you can um, cry is, is an important thing. And I suggest to people that uh, maybe there's a song they know or some song, some music they know that will, will bring up tears for them, uh, or a movie, or a, a book, a poem, whatever uh, helps to get you into that uh, space where you can actually let the tears come. Uh, those are helpful things to do. And you will find that if you keep allowing yourself to cry every time those, that sorrow comes up, then the intensity is eventually going to stop.